Hello there everyone, Simon here, and we've just gotten released in the last few minutes the Skeleton Crew official trailer. Um, again, I figured that they'd be putting out a trailer roughly around about a month before the show was due to air, uh, which is around this time, um, but it's quite early in the day for them to release it. It's about two in the afternoon here in the UK, um, so it's morning time over in the US. Um, now, since the teaser we got about two months ago, it uh, might have been six weeks, there's really not been a great deal um, that we've learned or been given about this show. There's been a few snippets in Empire Magazine. Um, other than that, you know, this show is kind of going under the radar, and I think that's probably for the best. Um, again, with all of the controversy and the kind of vitriol around the Acolytes, uh, I think Disney has done a good thing here in just kind of keeping the vibes and, and the presence of this show kind of low. Um, specifically to, I think, protect the actors in this, because again, it is quite a young cast. Um, obviously not Jude Law, but the uh, the child actors in this. Um, you know, and, and the last thing that you need is for them to have to, you know, be assaulted by the worst elements of the online community, uh, which I really hope they don't. I hope that, you know, again, if you have any criticisms of the show, you know, direct it at, you know, Lucasfilm, not the people, you know, who are acting in it, spe specifically not the children. You know, they've done nothing to uh, to invite any kind of criticism, you know, and again, uh, try and give them a little bit of leeway. You know, they're kids at the end of the day. Um, but I'm interested in seeing what we're going to get here. Again, the premise of the show um, is, you know, intriguing to me. It's very much like a pirate adventure. Um, so we're going to jump in and see what this is going to be about. So, yeah, let's have a look at the trailer. Um, if you haven't, please do consider subscribing. I will be watching this, um, you know, when we do get the series next month. Um, so, yeah, subscribe. I'm going to watch together. But here we go with the trailer. What are you in for? Ah, they're in the principal's office. What are you in for? I like the techno vibe. The very 80s. This is unacceptable. Do you understand? I love those glasses as well. They're so thickly framed. What do you think it is? Oh, it's an old starship. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything, so we'll hit every button there is. What did you do? We're lost. Really lost. Stay together. Ooh. We just need some directions home. Oh, lots of practical effects there. Whoa, where'd you two find an old Republic credit? Over here, quick. I'll get you. There home. he is. We'll make a partnership. But we have to move fast. Mm. I need you to take the controls. <laughs> okay. Neil. Neil. I like the vibe so far. A crew of murderous pirates is coming. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Like the droids. They're not going to just turn up. We need to find them. We're not alone down here. Oh my god. Oh, is that be warned of booby traps? Uh oh. Pirates. I was gonna say, was that poor Gullet? If you hear this, don't give up. No matter what. Oh. Okay. Okay, so uh, a heavier focus on, you know, again, the kids and the story this time, you know, giving us a bit more in terms of how they get lost, uh, where they end up, you know, how they meet Jude Law's character. I will say, I really do like the vibes, uh, the kind of, the light-hearted nature, uh, the sort of 80s techno music, um, the aesthetic of it as well, the golds, the kind of, it, it feels like a pirate movie you know like where the kids go on an adventure to get the pirate treasure um and it looks like they're going to be tying it into the high republic as well um so they must find those credits on that ship i'm guessing that's a high republic ship they take the credits from it um and that obviously lures the pirates out 
Uh, maybe Jude Law's character is looking for this pirate treasure, uh, gets the lucky break. You know, maybe he's a former Jedi, because we know he's going to be a Force user, I think. Um, but he's also given me those kind of scoundrel vibes, like maybe he's a bit of a schemer, a bit of a scammer. So whether he is actually a former Jedi, who knows? Um, but it, I think that I can see where it's going. He's going to be the type of character who intends to use the kids to meet his own goals and he's eventually going to endear himself to them and they're going to endear themselves to him and he might end up giving up you know the treasure hunts to save them um whilst you know again you've got the pirates on their tails throughout the whole thing and you're also going to get the perspective of i guess the the hunt for the kids by the parents maybe that's where the new republic comes in you know they're searching for them but then the kids realize hey we're on the trail of this treasure that's too important to give up so we've got to evade now both the Pirates and the New Republic. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Um, some really interesting tidbits. So the droid, which I believe is being voiced by Nick Frost of uh, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, Hot Fuzz fame, you know, very very much the, uh, the on-screen uh, partner of uh, Simon Pegg. And that droid looks great. Um, lots of practical effects, which is always appreciated. Um, it looked like there was plenty of... Uh, you know, kind of alien designs, you know, the visuals are all very much feeling like Star Wars. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people have been complaining about that kind of suburban planet, you know, that we saw at the very beginning where the kids grow up. I'm all for that, you know, because there are going to be worlds and places that very much mirror our own. And so there is definitely going to be this kind of like upper middle class suburbia that exists out there um, where the kids rebel. And, you know, then they end up in this kind of weird alien world that is more sort of traditionally Star Wars. Um, so, again, it's not giving us too much. This feels like a very isolated adventure, which is welcome, I think. I've always said, to, to me, what made The Mandalorian Season 1 so great is that it was isolated. It wasn't a part of the bigger Star Wars universe. It didn't connect into the big kind of Empire, Republic kind of battle. It was just its own thing about, you know, a small number of characters. And then eventually it trailed off and became that bigger story, that bigger adventure. But I really like these kind of unique, small scale stories. And that's what this feels like it's going to be. So, um, yeah, let me know what you thought of it in the comments. Um, again, I, I can't speak for, uh, you know, everything about the show at the moment, but I'm encouraged I'm kind of like reluctantly encouraged because I, I don't want to put all my stock in saying, yeah, this is going to be great. But I feel like everything they've shown us so far is looking pretty positive. And again, I think at the end of the day, if this turns out to not be the best thing in the world, I don't think it's going to hurt anyone because, again, it's just a fun adventure that they, they seem to be going on. But we'll see. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching. I will be kind of picking this up uh, as a reaction series when it comes out next month. So if you haven't, please do subscribe. In the meantime... I will see you for the next video.